It has been nicknamed Chernobyl on the Hudson. Lying just 34 miles north of New York City's Central Park, the Indian Point Energy Center has been leaking the radioactive material known as tritium into the groundwater. On February 6, 2016, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo finally alerted the public as to the potential catastrophe. Better late than never? In 1973, the plant was shut down after engineers discovered buckling in the steel liner of the concrete dome in which the nuclear reactor is housed. On October 17, 1980, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission proposed a $2,100,000 fine for an incident involving 100,000 gallons of Hudson River water that had leaked into the Indian Point 2 containment building from the fan cooling unit undetected by a safety device designed to detect hot water. Two pumps which should have removed the water were found to be inoperative. In 1984, the New York Times reported that 25% of the young fish known as the Atlantic Tom Cod and 89% of the old Atlantic tom cod inhabiting the Hudson suffered from liver cancer. These mutated tom cods had evolved after GE dumped PCBs into the Hudson River from 1947 to 1976. In 2005, Entergy workers, while digging, discovered a small leak in a spent fuel pool. Water containing tritium and strontium-90 was leaking through a crack in the pool building and then finding its way into the nearby Hudson River. In 2007, a transformer at Unit 3 caught fire and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission raised its level of inspections. In April of 2007, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission fined the owner of the Indian Point nuclear plant $130,000 for failing to meet a deadline for a new emergency siren plan. The 150 sirens at the plant were meant to alert residents within 10 miles to a plant emergency. In 2009, an International Journal of Health Services study revealed that residents living on the Hudson had a 67% higher thyroid cancer rate than the national average. In 2010, an explosion occurred in a main transformer for Indian Point 2, spilling oil into the Hudson River. Entergy later agreed to pay a $1.2 million penalty for the transformer explosion. In July of 2013, a former supervisor who worked at Indian Point Nuclear Power Plant for 29 years was arrested for falsifying critical safety records and lying to federal regulators. In June of 2015, a Mylar balloon floated into a switchyard, causing an electrical problem resulting in the shutdown of Reactor 3. In July of 2015, Reactor 3 was again shut down after a water pump failure. On December 5, 2015, Indian Point 2 was shut down after several control rods lost power. Obviously, Indian Point could potentially be a repeat of the, at the very least, Level 7 Fukushima Daiichi disaster if a nuclear meltdown occurs due to a hurricane or other natural event leading to equipment failures. However, a similar disaster would require the evacuation of 5.6 million people and render Manhattan a no-go zone for decades. In 2004, a study by the Union of Concerned Scientists estimated as many as 44,000 near-term deaths from acute radiation syndrome and as many as 518,000 long-term cancer deaths could occur in people within 50 miles of Indian Point in the event of a severe accident. Potential disaster models reveal the Indian Point plume could reach Chernobyl mass event levels nine times the radiation released at Fukushima. Indian Point is just one of at least five damaged nuclear power plants in the United States. They are an obvious target for terrorists. Just one more glaring reason why we need our borders closed to President Obama's unconstitutional executive order on immigration. John Bound for Infowars.com. We're completely overrun, people. But if you wake up to the criminals, it's game over. But I'm here to tell you, you know, we get people on saying, Alex, you don't need to get upset. You don't need to yell and scream. You know, we need to just calmly tell the public. We have calmly told the public they're in a trance. And I'm here shaking people in their trance going, wake up, wake up, snap out of it, snap out of it.